Hello fantastic people, I hope you are doing great. Today we'll create simple 8 direction character controller and we'll also learn how to make the character's head look at the mouse. So let's get started. First we have to make sure that our character structure will support all the features we want to implement. Inside the character object I have another one for body, which stores the body sprite. Inside of it I have the head wrapper and inside of that wrapper the actual head sprite. This is what will allow us to make the head look at the mouse. Now, whenever you create the animations for your character, make sure you animate head, not the head wrapper. This way, if we change the rotation of the head wrapper from the script, the head will stay animated correctly. Inside of the input folder, I click right mouse button, go to create, input actions. I open the input actions asset and create new map. I call it game. I change the name of the first action to walk. Then I change its action type to value and for control type I select vector 2. I select the default binding and press delete to remove it. I add new binding of type up, down, left, right composite. I call it FSAT and map all of the keys. Then I create another action and call it look. Once again I change its action type to value and control type to vector 2. For the binding I select mouse position. I click save asset and exit the window. I click on the character object and add rigid body 2D to it. I change the gravity scale to zero, the collision detection to continuous and in the constraints I freeze the rotation. Now I add the player input to our character. In the actions input I select our input actions and just double check that the behavior is set to send messages. Awesome, time to create a script. Inside the script folder I click right mouse button, go to create and then select C sharp script. I call it player movement. I drag and drop it on the character object. I open it and start by doing a little bit of cleanup. I create move header for our variables and then first variable speed. It has to be serialized and of type float. I give it default value of 3. Then I add two more variables, one for rigid body 2D and one for the animator. And of course in the awake method I grab and store them inside those variables. Time to implement walking. Because my input action was called walk, I implement onWalk method. As a parameter it has to have the input value. When our walk input action is invoked, the player input component we added to our character will send a message and this message will look for the method onWalk with the input value parameter. First we'll grab and store the actual value from the parameter in the variable. Then we'll multiply it by speed and assign it to rigid body's velocity. If you want to trigger the walking animation that will be the right place to do so. Let's test it out. Fantastic! Now let's flip the character in the direction it's walking. For that we'll implement the flip x method with the parameter of type float. Inside of it we check if x is not equal to 0. And if it's not, to the local scale of our transform we assign new vector 3. Because we want to have a value 1 or minus 1 as the x of the vector, we use the mathf.sign. Then for y and z we simply put 1. We add our new method to the onWalk method and voila! The character is flipping properly. Time to implement looking at the mouse. For that we'll need few variables. First one for the head wrapper transform. 2 for the angle limit, 1 for top and 1 for the bottom. And then 1 of type vector 2 to store the mouse coordinates in the world space. To handle our look input I create another private method on look with the parameter of type input value. Inside of it I simply convert the value I get from the parameter to the word position. Then I assign it to the mouse world position variable. Now I create look at mouse private method. In its first line I calculate the direction from the head to the mouse position. I use for that this very simple formula. Destination position minus the origin position. Then I normalize it to get a vector of magnitude 1. To rotate the head I use the right field on the head wrapper transform. I multiply it by 1 or minus 1 depending on the local scale in the x-axis, otherwise the character head would look in the wrong direction when character is flipped. That would be enough to rotate the head but without limits. 
Now I'm cheating a little bit and using the head wrapper I get local Euler angles. I am sure there is a way to calculate them using the direction vector I have, but this is high beyond my level of math skills. Now I clamp the rotation in the z-axis and reassign the Euler direction to the head wrapper. Now I simply call our look at mouse method in the update method. We are almost done. We still have one small problem to fix. The rotation limiting when looking up looks alright. However, it behaves very weirdly if we try to look down. The fix is very easy. When the Euler angles are larger than 180, we simply subtract from them 360. And we are done. Almost. You may prefer to flip the character based on the mouse position rather than the keyboard input. To add that option, we add new variable of type boolean. Let's call it flip towards mouse. Then inside of our onwalk method, let's call the flip x only if the variable is not set to true. And when it's set to true, let's call our flip x method inside of the look at mouse method. And now we are truly done. If you enjoyed this tutorial, consider subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting this video, and of course, have a fantastic day, love you and bye bye.